Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's two minute tip video, I wanna show you how I start my summer garden and how I start backup plants. It's great to have backup squash, zucchini, cucumbers for your garden in case problems show up. I like starting them in these larger containers. We sell this, uh, we sell these at our seed shop, but we also sell this whole kit. It's 36 plants just in this single flat. These are gonna stay up on my deck. You only need them to get about six hours of sunlight, direct sunlight. You don't want these sitting and baking in the sun for eight, 10, 12 hours. It just gets too hot in the summer. And you want the larger containers because it holds more material. It will allow for a better root system and it will hold moisture better. But about six hours of light, I just sit them right here on my deck. I'll move them around if I need to. These give me all the transplants I need to go out into my garden. And we'll go take a look at that in a second, what's growing out there. And we'll come back and I'll show you how to plant these. Planting actually is pretty simple. I just set up the seeds this way. I put in three cucumbers. When, if they all come up, I thin them to two here. Same thing with the zucchini and squash. Um, I'll put in two seeds, not three. And if they both come up, I may thin them down to one. If they're going into my garden pretty quickly, I'll put both in. But whatever one's the strongest, I will remove that. But I have squash, zucchini, cucumbers. Um, those are lima beans, Christmas beans, and some other bean types in there. I just set the flat up just like this. Any potting mix works well. Fill up the trays, drop the seeds down. A little tip to save you some money on these too, is if these are all gonna be the same bean, I just put one label on there. So it saves you a little bit of money. Pretty simple. The beans, cucumbers on both sides are doing well. Dark green zucchini, more squash and zucchini in there. That's only two plants that get huge. But rather than having to put those 36 plants I showed you all over my garden as seeds, having to come out, water and tend them and take care of them, I start them in those seed cells and just put them out here. Now, these are doing well. Eventually disease and pests will take them. I will get a great harvest. But rather than trying to take care of these plants when they're dying, I like to put backup plants in. So today's June 14th, the backup plants will be ready in three or four weeks. I will do that again in about three or four weeks. So I'll have the ones that you see now growing in, and they'll be ready in case I need them. And then I'll have backup plants again. That's just a great way to save um, yourself a headache. Rather than battling dying plants, have transplants ready to go and replace them. There's no fertilizer in here. You're just gonna push these down a half an inch to an inch. The potting mix is nice and loose. And you press all the seeds in. I like to just set everything up this way. This way you know what you have. And then once, that's fine if two go into one hole. About a half an inch. Then we'll come back and cover them. There's no fertilizer in here right now. These will get fed with a, um, probably, well, with a water-soluble fertilizer, but with fish emulsion. You don't need to do anything fancy, just a potting mix to get the seeds started. Once the seeds are pressed in, just top them off. We'll press all that on and then water them in. It doesn't have to be fancy. And again, I sell these kits at my seed shop. Some of them come with seeds. This is a pack that's set up for, or these are seeds that are set up for uh, summer plants. And it's really this simple. This is just such an easy way to grow 36 plants for your garden and just take care of them in this space. Here's a backup tomato plant. I just want to show you how well they grow in these containers. This is enough soil to manage the plants to a larger size. But once you have them planted, just water it in. Since this is outdoors, I don't mind watering from the top. You could have to water this every day, maybe twice a day, just keep an eye on it. You can also fill the tray up with some water, let them you know, get watered from the bottom. If it's really hot, putting water in there and just letting them kind of soak it up will do them well. Easiest way to start 36 plants for backups or for your summer garden. I even do this for my winter crops. Come August, I'll be growing cabbages, broccoli, all that kind of stuff right in here. Thanks for watching and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.